what is the third part iskon now now within the iskon perspective i'll talk about two things i'll talk from prabhupad's personal perspective and then prabhupad's because the whole krishna conscious movement in one sense is the body of shri prabhupad it's the vishwa roop of shri prabhupad which he has manifested so from his socio cultural perspective so from his personal perspective prabhupad seemed to have great attraction from jagann for jagannath right from his childhood and that's why as a small child he organized and performed the ratha yatra ceremony when i was looking at the the children's beautiful artistic collection i was thinking that now when we have to do something that there are so many supports available and what was done is laudable but at, at maybe 70 80 years ago oh it got in 70 80 probably 100 years ago almost uh, yeah something like that more than 100 years ago prabhupad was born in 1896 so he performed the yatra in 1905 19 around that when 10 15 years old so almost 150 10 years ago at that time getting paraphernalia and everything was not easy and prabhupad organized he was abhay at that time he organized now of course his parents and others have, have helped but even for them to go through the, all that labor because his desire must have been so strong now i asked one of my friends who is a bengali historian uh, was it a common practice at that time that for kids to organize ratha yatras and he said no it is ratha yatra itself was a common festival but kids organizing it was not ordinary so prabhupad had a personal relationship with jagannath and even as a small child and then it's described that when he graduated uh, when he when he more or less not not graduated he finished his 12th or something 10th the 12th he had a vacation and normally when there are vacations people want to go to scenic hill stations or disneyland or some picnic spots but prabhupad i was thinking okay you know what are the timings for the train to go to jagannath puri and how much will it cost prabhupad was dreaming about going to puri he was dreaming about going to rindavan the boy is there this longing for jagannath and then so that was his personal perspective that when krishna reciprocated with him see bhakti is all about reciprocation a devotee has a particular desire and the lord reciprocates so what is the reciprocation and prabhupada was in america jagannath suddenly appeared and it was the, the devotees who came to shri prabhupada initially they knew not thing about what to speak of the gaudiya vishnu tradition even the vedic tradition they didn't know when they wanted to decorate the 26 second avenue store front for prabhupad's pleasure i just went to some they had an alternative art gallery and they found some pictures which look indian and they brought them and in one of the pictures he says prabhupad this is beautiful and he says prabhupad what is that is that a cat i said it was actually hanuman <laughs> <laughs> now how does one mistake anuman <laughs> and want to be a cat they just they just couldn't figure out what is this <laughs> so they just went to a, uh, one of the devotees that just gone to a store and there she the she malti mata ji she she saw something which looks like something indian and they didn't have money so just picked it up and brought it <laughs> <laughs> and she says and she says swami ji at that time they would call prabhupad swami swami ji i got something and she just showed it and to her amazement prabhupad was sitting prabhupad just got up and offered obeisances she says what is this this is the lord of the universe this is krishna she said look at it this is not look like krishna at all <laughs> <laughs> prabhupad says this is jagannath so jagannath has appeared himself and we should worship him and then that's how not only jagannath worship started but the jagannath ratha yatra started and it became one of the most not just eye catching you can say eye popping festivals it's amazing that the hippies love to do something strange now if they wanted to dance on the streets that was a strange thing if if normally if they would have danced on the street the police would have come and arrested them 
बट नाउ इन जगन्नाथ यथ यात्रा इट आज ऑन द स्ट्रीट्स एंड द पुलिस एस्कॉर्टेड दम सो इट इज ऑल फार आउट सो इट वॉज इट वॉज प्रभुपाद पर्सनल डिवोशन बींग रेसिप्रोकेटेड बाय द लॉर्ड एंड नाउ ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड नो वी हैव जगन्नाथ यात्रा बींग सेलिब्रेटेड फ्रॉम बॉस्टन टू बर्लिन टू ब्रिस्बिन From Durban to Dubai to Dublin, everywhere in the world, Jagannath Yatra is being celebrated. So this is the reciprocation of the Lord with the longing of the devotee. But this becomes even more significant if we consider the socio-cultural perspective. When the British came to India, in the in the British in the the British came from a Christian background. Not all of them were devout Christians, but there was a background. and the christian background is iconoclastic iconoclastic means that their idea is that god can never manifest in any form in fact worship of any form is actually the worship of the satan they say that when you worship any form in this world even if they believe god has a form but they don't think that any form in this world can manifest god therefore they say if you are worshiping any form then you are worshiping something other than god and the something other than god becomes a competitor to god and when it becomes a competitor to god then that competitor needs to be destroyed so that the one true god's worship can be established so now among the various manifestations of the divine that were seen in india they all found okay you know ram looks beautiful krishna also looks beautiful but the one form they just couldn't digest was the form of jagannath you know one western one western indologist he he came and said you know says if hinduism is the religion of the satan then jagannath is the ultimate voodoo lord <laughs> <laughs> they just couldn't comprehend it and there was one christian missionary who said that the success of christianity would be to end this worship of this this horrendous looking lord and then what happened na prabhupad was educated in the scottish church college which is a christian college and he knew about these conceptions he, he, what's what his professor would speak at times in school now just look at the audacity of shri prabhupad now prabhupad that same lord whose that particular form whose worship they wanted to stop prabhupad not only started that prabhupad made that public in the sense that that's not just worship in the temple that worship will be done on the streets and when finally when there was the jagannath rath yatra in london it happened many times but prabhupad couldn't be present on many occasions at one time prabhupad was quite sick and he still he said okay i'll just come and have darshan of jagannath and i'll leave but on the streets of london when prabhupad saw jagannath being worshiped prabhupad just manifested such extraordinary energy prabhupad started dancing in public and all the people around just went mad and the police at that time they were trying to keep the crowd in control and some of the devotees who were there in that rathyatra i was in london for a month last year i was talking with them they said that you know what is described about chaitanya mahaprabhu that when he would be performing kirtan he would be in ecstasy and he would touch someone that person would also go into ecstasy so there were the cops who were supposed to guard and the cops would tell the devotees stop stop and they touch the devotees and somehow the cops would also start singing <laughs> <laughs> so it was just extraordinary what happened so for prabhupad this was actually a culture the ultimate cultural conquest it was from that socio cultural perspective what prabhupad achieved so the many spiritual teachers from india have gone to the west and they taught indian spirituality but in general they kept the parts of indian spirituality which would which western people would find difficult to understand they downplayed them most of them talk about advaita vedanta because advaita vedanta does not involve any form and it's relatively easy to accept 
But Prabhupada not only emphasized the personal form of the Lord, but that form which was in once in the Western mind, as with the Christian mind, would have would recoil the most. And that Jagannath attracted hundreds and thousands of people. So the chariot festival is now one of the most prominent cultural festivals eh, which reflect the Indian tradition. And of course Diwali is a big festival. Uh, Holi as a festival of colors is big. But these are festivals that happen at particular places. The Jagannath Ratyatra festival is something which happens on the streets. And it is somewhere which hundreds and thousands of people get the mercy of the Lord through this festival. So that is Prabhupada's reciprocation with Jagannath. And we in the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, as followers of Srila Prabhupada, have the opportunity to continue that reciprocation when we assist in organizing the Rathyatra.